But first tonight, cracking down on DUI offenders in Kentucky. Good evening. I'm Sheree Palello. And thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Dardis. A new bill that will make repeat drunk drivers blow before they drive just passed the Kentucky House. And the man behind the new law says this one is personal. And he spoke with Emily Wood tonight. Emily? Mike, the DUI interlock bill would mandate second and third time offenders to install a breathalyzer in their car, and the device would even include a camera to make sure it is, in fact, that driver taking the test. Before you can even start your car in the Commonwealth, repeat DUI offenders will soon have to take a breathalyzer test. The DUI interlock bill has been a passion project for six term Kentucky Representative Dennis Keene. His daughter was hit and almost killed by a drunk driver in 2002. Keene spoke with us over the phone shortly after the bill was approved by the Kentucky House of Representatives. I mean, nobody set out to kill my daughter that night. He just made a bad decision. He got behind the wheel thinking he wasn't drunk, and uh, he was. And, uh, and that bad decision almost cost my, my daughter's life. Keene says the ignition interlock system will cost the taxpayers nothing. The offender will have to bear the burden of the cost to install the device, and Keene is confident it will be successful. Well, you know, I've been fighting this battle for so long, and uh, I'm just overwhelmed to finally get this done because of what a difference it's going to make to people's lives. Keene says similar bills have already prevented 40% of drunk driving deaths since they were passed in other states. People kill people because they make bad decisions, and uh, and this this bill is going to keep people from making bad decisions that kill innocent people. Congressman Keene says Kentucky will become the 25th state to pass this type of law in the U.S. He hopes after a few years he can advance it to eventually include first-time offenders. Mike. Uh, Emily, the bill has already been passed by the Senate. It will now head on to Governor Steve Bashir's desk to become a law. Representative Keene says the governor is expected to sign it. And